today I'm making this video to uh, kind of reach out to the social media community, the YouTube community, the farm community, quail community, and just trying to get some advice to see what would you do in this instance and you know I'm trying to figure out a plan of action. So I have uh, ordered some quail eggs from a company I won't name at the moment. And I ordered these eggs back in, I believe, March. Yeah, March of this year. Here it is. It is uh, November 2018. So here's the story. I ordered these eggs in March. Um, I think I got a batch of 120. When I get them and I incubate them, none of them, I mean none, none of these eggs hatch whatsoever. I counted the eggs and none were fertilized. I uh, called the supplier up, asked them uh, if there was something going on because I know how to incubate eggs. I've done it before. Uh, I asked, they said, well, we had trouble um, there's about five or six other folks that had the same issue. So what we'll do is we will <clears throat> send you a replacement out. All you gotta do is cover the shipping costs. I'm like, okay. So this is back in March. Um, I paid whatever the price was for their uh, replacement cost for the shipping. And from March to August, I didn't hear nobody, hear nothing, didn't uh, get a call, didn't get an email, text, nothing. So I reach out in August pretty much to get blown off. Uh, you know, told they're pretty busy and they'll get the eggs out the next day. Still nothing. No text, no receipt of anything. Um, so, you know, I kept reaching out periodically to uh, to see, you know, hey, what's going on? Trying to be nice about it. Because, you know, you don't want to burn bridges with nobody, but the fact of the matter is, this person... Uh, this company is pretty much burning the bridge with me because here I am out of X amount of dollars of potential money and also of money that I've spent to get my product so I can have a product to get to market and I don't have anything and it's pretty much been a year got nothing so what I'm trying to figure out is, what should be my next plan of action? I've sent an email, I've text, tried to call, and I've got nothing but blown off. Um, so, what would you do um, in this situation? Would you try to go a legal course of action? Would you just not mess with them anymore? What would be your plan of action? I'm just trying to figure out, I'm trying to be fair because I understand sometimes, you know, we get forgetful. Um, you know, if it's somebody that you're not used to dealing with a lot or they're not getting, you know, as much. But at that point, it's kind of like, well, if you don't want to deal with, uh, you know, not as large amounts, then you should just turn it away and not take somebody's money. Because, you know, at some point, you got to have ethics. You got to treat people right. No matter if they are a little small mom and pop, you know, hobby farm or whatever. So, what do you guys think? What do you think should be my course of action? Should I... Uh, should I seek legal uh, legal counsel? 
Should I go the legal route or just forget about it? I'm trying to figure out. Um, what you guys think I should do? I mean, nobody wants to get done dirty. But I mean, I feel like I've missed out on a whole freaking crop. Now granted, because I didn't, uh, because I wasn't able to uh, get my quail legs from this company, I did reach out to another company um, to get some, um, which was uh, Kansas City Quail Farm. Um, so, you know, man, I, I don't know. Um, just kind of a weird deal, man. And it's very, very frustrating. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hurt. Kind of upset. Um, nobody likes to be played with. Nobody likes to be messed over. And I just feel like I've been messed over for no reason. I haven't been rude. Paid the money right then and there. I'm just trying to figure out the reason. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, at any rate, you guys uh, tell me what you think. Uh, have you experienced something like this before dealing with quail? Uh, and the shipment of eggs, uh, hatching eggs, to uh, keep your business going because I mean man it's messed me up I mean it has this whole freaking season it messed me up I had a late start hey my birds that I got now just now really getting into producing like they should and uh, it's just very 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 frustrating people so I don't know Give me some advice, what you think? Should I get a lawyer? Should I lawyer up, as they say? Or should I just let it go? Keep going down the road and just look at it, hey, lesson learned, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. I guess that's how it goes. But I mean, I could see if I, I gypped them or was lying, but I wasn't, you know? I run a small business, and in running my small business, I don't want nobody trying to jip me. So, if I don't want nobody trying to jip me, why would I be trying to jip somebody else? So, uh, yeah. Give me your thoughts. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll holler at you guys later.